Hey, I'm Alex Roach, uh, and I work as a metallurgical engineer at uh, AMS Calvert. Uh, it's a steel mill here in uh, Mobile, Alabama. And as a metallurgical engineer, I'm responsible for being a part of the process of the line and making sure that it runs efficiently and as, met, as best effectively as possible. Um, my primary role in typical day-to-day -day involves me working with the welders. Uh, these welders are, are a key role for our company. Uh, without them, we cannot produce steel as effectively and efficiently um, as, we, as we can in general. Uh, for me, uh, that involves me walking out to the mill quite often. Uh, I spend about 50% of my time inside doing data analysis as well as outside doing field work uh, and hands-on activities. For me, it's, it's critical for me to be out there and see it with my own eyes in order to make any kind of adjustments uh, or kind of process improvements that, uh, that the line needs to run more effectively. Um, as for the uh, stresses um, and things that I could see on a day-to-day -day basis that will be problems or difficulties. Uh, a lot of those deal with trials and new grades. Here at Calvert we run quite a few uh, grades for all these automotive uh, distributors that we have around the company and around the globe. Uh, we have a lot of new grades that are coming in and out so we have to make sure that we are adapting to what the, uh, the steel is requiring for us to produce it on the line. Um, that requires me to come in early sometimes uh, beyond my 45 hour uh, time uh, during the week. Uh, maybe come in late, stay overnight um, to do these trials and tests. Um, I need to take it over here to the behind me to these testing labs and do the actual test to make sure that we are capable of actually performing the, 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 necess the necessity that these uh, the steels are requiring. I would suggest getting a, bachelor a bachelor's of science in metallurgical engineering. So for a metallurgical engineering degree, um, it's going to take a lot of math, it's going to take a lot of science. Uh, primarily the sciences are the chemistries or thermodynamics that you'll see. Uh, so it's, it is going to be a lot of integrated science, uh, integrated calculus, uh, any kind of things like that you'll see on a day-to-day -day basis in school for sure. Um, when it comes down to out of school, I would say definitely go and look for some type of internship. Uh, that way you can kind of get an understanding of what a metallurgist actually is, what a metallurgical engineer actually is. Um, you'll be able to see the role from a, a, a visual basis rather than just a book or factual basis. Um, I know that that was a big thing for me to see it and do things with my own hands rather than um, for me to read about it um, and, and hear about what I could do rather than what I actually can do. Um, when it comes down to it, I would definitely say that uh, employers in this field definitely want to see people who are willing to be out um, in the mill and willing to be uh, going into these internships before they come uh, to become full-time. Uh, other skills that I would say that I probably should have brought to, uh, to this job would be more of like computational uh, programming. So you're thinking of like MATLAB, you're thinking of mini tabs, you're thinking of SQL servers, and definitely a strong basis in Excel and maybe even some in Access. So those five for sure will definitely help you uh, accumulate all your data and be able to send it out on a regular basis. So I would say that one of the best parts of being a metallurgical engineer is that things are always changing, especially here at Calvert. Um, we're always seeing new steels come into the, the equation and there's always new things that we can uh, always adapt to um, or make improvements to. So I would say that things that you're working on Monday may not always be the things you're working on Friday. So if something's always changing, you're always getting something new, um, which is what I like. Um, I don't like getting stuck in one thing at a time. Now for the worst parts, uh, I would say that the, the worst part for me is that I don't have many senior leadership uh, managers that, that have the same degree field as me. So I'm interested in a lot of things that they may not be interested in. I think of more what's a part of the steel rather than what are the machines that are doing things to the steel. It's like how do I make this steel more adaptable in form of uh, what the chemistry is rather than how do I make the steel more adaptable in how much I'm pressing onto it with some metal rolls or something like that. So that's the worst part is that you just don't have very much uh, senior uh, guidance. So sometimes the decisions that you have to make uh, are hard decisions, hard decisions because you don't have that, that uh, background. So my final advice and suggestions would be to kind of just experience what metallurgy is. You don't always have to be at steel like I am. You can also be out and do aluminum. You could do copper. You could do any kind of ceramic or uh, polymers. There's all these different types and all these different uh, automotive or uh, 
food can providers, all these different places need metallurgists to understand how these materials work. Um, with this material science background and this metallurgical background, you'll be able to either work in some place, maybe a lab, it may be in a production field like I'm in. Um, but I would say experience uh, the, the co-op program if you have one at your school or an internship at a, at a facility somewhere like this to see if that's something that you would like to do uh, as a metallurgical engineer.